There's one man who is on a mission in Haiti. His name is Jimmy Cherizier. And he calls himself Barbecue. There are rumors that Cherizier got the nickname because he was accused of setting houses on fire. But Cherizier says he got the nickname because his mother sold fried chicken. Barbecue is a 42-year-old former cop who has now turned gangster. He was fired from the Haiti National Police in 2018 after being named in a series of violent crimes. Cherizier first came into the spotlight in 2017. He was accused of being involved in the Grand Ravine massacre, which led to at least nine deaths. In 2018, Barbecue was named for taking part in the La Saline massacre, which resulted in over 70 deaths and the burning of 400 homes. A year later, in 2019, he was a gang leader and was accused of taking part in the Bel Air massacre, where 24 people were killed. After Cherizier was released from the police, he decided to become a gang leader. He currently leads the revolutionary forces of the G9 family and allies, or G9 in short. And this group of over a dozen gangs controls almost 80% of Haiti's capital. Being in the police force made Barbecue hungry for power. Even after being discharged, he was always seen with a gun. In fact, in 2022, Barbecue was sanctioned by the UN Security Council for orchestrating a blockade of major fuel terminals in Port-au-Prince. And now he's making headlines again. That's because Barbecue has beef with Haiti's Prime Minister, Ariel Henry. Jimmy Barbecue Cherizier is on the warpath, and his demands are frightening. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, the country will suffer a genocide. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, if the international community continues to support Ariel Henry, they will lead us directly into a civil war that will end in genocide. Barbecue and his gang have attacked almost all the government institutions in Port-au-Prince. They attacked Haiti's main airport. And now Prime Minister Henri is unable to return to his own country. He was on a trip to Kenya to meet President William Ruto. The two leaders signed a security pact allowing Kenya to deploy troops in Haiti to fight the menacing gangs. And for barbecue, the absence of Prime Minister Henri was the perfect time to launch a coup. The first objective of a fight is to ensure that Prime Minister Ariel Henry's government does not remain in power by any means. All of us, the armed groups in the provincial towns and the armed groups in the capital, are united today. We will fight Ariel until the last drop of blood. We will fight Ariel Henry until he resigns. I am ready to make an alliance with the devil, ready to sleep in the same bed as the devil. Haiti's Prime Minister is in Puerto Rico. He was denied landing rights in Haiti's neighbor, the Dominican Republic. And it looks like Barbecue will only use this to his advantage. So where does that leave the international community? Haiti's neighborhood is feeling the heat. The Dominican Republic has shut the borders and refuses to take in refugees. We will never accept refugee camps in our country. That is out of question. And I don't think the United Nations will ask for that. I don't think they will. The U.S., which once supported Prime Minister Henri, is slowly backing away and hinting at a new government. And what we are saying to the, the Prime Minister is that he needs to expedite the transition to an empowered and inclusive governance, um, including the, the, the appointment of a transition council. But it doesn't look like barbecue will make the Prime Minister's return a walk in the park. After all, Jimmy Cherizier is sitting at the stage where he has the guns and the manpower and the public sentiment has begun to sway. Once known as a lowly gang leader, Barbecue is now being called a revolutionary by many.